Yo! Back again. And I'm in the shed. GMC's in the shed. Shay's in the shed. And we're going to do some work. Just uh, finishing cleaning up some mess over there. And then uh, get into swapping these cables out. Got a new accelerator cable and a new kick down cable. The bonus of running an older GMC like this is yes it costs a lot to run but parts are stupidly cheap so you just you don't fix things you just replace them with a new one and uh, you're good to go I think these cables were like oh man we bought them when we bought the truck I think like $23 or something you can't you just, just can't go wrong just replace it and then we're good so yeah we get stuck into it Try and fix this thing up because it is horrible to drive. See what difference it makes. Right, quick tip if you own an old GMC, old square body, right? If you find a minute, you open your hinges, get the magic WD 40 out, and give it some love. These things love to seize up, and you'll see a bunch of them, like for sale, or riding around the streets, or whatever. This, this locks up, and then you go to shut the bonnet, and it goes. And you end up with a bent hood. We call them a bonnet down here in New Zealand. So yeah, two seconds of WD-40. Might save save some tears later on. Trying to make y'all comfortable. That's right. For the record, you ain't trying to grow any stuff for you. That's right. For the record, lab on me going all the way. All the way. For the record, ain't trying to link no time to waste. Shay's gonna get her creep on. How are you doing? Am I finding what I feed for? Yep. You got it. You're pretty much a mechanic now, Shay. Right. Well, I was just saying how it's good because the parts are cheap. It's really good that the parts are cheap because they're wrong and I've got to reorder them from Summit. But that's right because they seem to arrive just as quick as ordering something locally. So I might actually try and see if I can find it local. If not, I'll get it sent out of Summit. Um, both the new accelerator cable and the um, kick down cable were too long. So the new kick down cable's in there, but it's like a couple inches too long, uh, which I could fix. Could probably just go get a. Um, a cable lock and, and a spring and tidy it up, but we'll see. I might still do that. Might be the easy option. But yeah, that was good. I can supervise and watch Shay. And now she's cleaning up the tools and making sure everything's good. Shay, you got triple turns. Are you happy? What? Would have liked to have actually finish something, but whatever. We'll get there. Let's see, that's what happens. You just got to roll with the punches. Deal with it. So yeah, now it's time to do some cleaning after lunch and then do some welding. Teach Shay how to do some welding. So yeah, we'll be back real quick. You just start off your like, right, so I'm doing this because that's how I do it. Like, yep, so yep, right, yep. Right, I'm gonna put some bird poop on some metal. As yeah, this is her first go, she's already done these ones. It's pretty good. Talented from, from factory. <laughs> Yeah, right. Alright. Wish me luck. I'll give her the old helmet and uh, I'll let her use the new welder. If you don't hear from us, she's probably blowing something up or burnt something down. Quit my job so 
ain't trying to grow, then it's not for you. For the record, lab on me going all the way. For the record, ain't trying to link no time to wish. For the record. Almost better than me, and she's only just started, so yeah, might be out of a job soon. Typical, we're five seconds into it, and she's already trying to go, you know, no, normal welding's boring, we need to make it look pretty, so. We've got some normal welds, and then like one of those ones, and one of those ones, and then she wants to start learning how to stack the dimes. <laughs> Patience, Shay. It's way better. <laughs> This is, this is welding, this is where we're supposed to be filling up the holes. Look at it. We go manual on this thing, there we go. It's alright. Only a little bit of daylight. <laughs> to be fair, it was a trick. Uh, I cleaned it up. I cleaned it up and um, then I left the welder up really hot so she could experience what blowing through steel feels like. So I'll turn it down, it'll be nice. So these are Shay's welds also. I'm definitely going to be out of a job soon. Just ignore that one. Teach you how to fill gaps. Definitely going to be out of a job soon. Well, I hope you all enjoyed looking at my bird poo welds. So um, to make up for it, in true Caleb fashion, here's some cool clips from one of our local trips and we'll see you tomorrow.